NATO-led forces are pressing deeper into the town of Marja, battling insurgents in a major Taliban stronghold in Afghanistan's Helmand province. It is the biggest joint operation since the 2001 US-led invasion of Afghanistan with some 15,000 US, Afghan and British troops. While this is an Afghan-led operation, I think it highlights the special partnership that we've developed that I'm very proud of. NATO Commander General Stanley McChrystal also praised the troops. And I would ask for the media to watch the bravery of Afghan National Security Forces and their coalition partners, because I'm exceptionally proud of how they're performing. On Sunday, two rockets fired by coalition forces missed their targets, killing 12 civilians and dealing a blow to efforts at winning support of area residents. Although NATO dropped leaflets asking civilians to leave the area before the assault, it took responsibility for the deaths. General McChrystal apologized to Afghan President Hamid Karzai and suspended use of the rocket system involved. When President Karzai approved the conduct of this operation, he gave us some very specific guidance. And that guidance was to continue to protect the people of Afghanistan. And so this operation has been done with that in mind. Afghanistan's Independent Human Rights Commission has appealed to both sides to avoid civilian casualties. Commission spokesman Nadir Nadiri said he is concerned about the Taliban using civilians as human shields. We are very much concerned indeed uh, about the fact that the Taliban has tried uh, uh, to prevent people leaving the conflict area and uh, that shows that there was attempts to make human shields of civilians. Afghan Interior Minister Muhammad Hanif Atmar appealed to the Taliban to join the government and serve the country. Your best option is to take advantage of the Afghan peace and reconciliation program. There is no way you can win there. The Afghan people are determined to win. The real test will come in weeks or months when the Taliban tries to return. Then residents will have to decide whether to side with the insurgents or newly arrived Afghan government. The government maintains it is there for the long haul. Ravi Khanna, UN News, Washington. Yeah,